Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan Ralph, and I'm back again with another how-to. And uh, this tutorial, or how-to, or whatever you want to say, I'm going to be showing you guys how to stop Windows 10 from spying on you. Now, there are plenty of um, um, programs that do the same thing, but most of them are infected themselves. So, I honestly suggest you don't download any of those and only get the spy by spy by anti beacon. Spybot is a, a company that makes anti malware virus stuff and, and uh, they help keep us safe. They have a nice community too. Um, this program is hundred percent trustworthy. Um, it's the only one that I know that is. So this is the only one I'm going to recommend. Now I'm not going to promise that this is going to stop all the spying, because it probably isn't. Especially if you use Edge and things like Cortana and things like that. But this is going to keep it to a minimum for sure. And it's going to stop a lot of it. Um, this is definitely something I think everybody who's running 10 should be running as well. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is you're going to go to um, the link in the video description. If you look down below the video, it'll say video description. If you click on the little arrow button underneath that, it'll open up the video description. And you'll find the link to get to this page. So basically, you go down to the bottom and you install the installer. So I want you to download it and install that. Now, I already have it installed, ready to go, as you can see over here. So once that's done, um, just go ahead and pause and come back to this portion. So now we're going to actually take a look at the program itself. Um, it's pretty simple. It pretty much shows you, all, like, all my, because I'm running Windows 10, obviously, and everything is uh, is done here. It's all green, except for this. I can never get this to work. I don't know why. I even have the, I know other people that have it, that it works on just fine, but that's whatever. So it's not a huge deal to me. Um, it's just a Bing thing, so whatever, and I don't use that anyway. So regardless, what you want to do is you want to basically go in here, and it's going to have, uh, if we do undo, okay, it's going to look like this. You just hit this immunize button at the bottom, and it's going to do everything, okay? And then you go through here, and you want to click on the optional tab, a tab, and make sure you click apply, 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 apply on all of these. And then there's also, you can go to the options, and you can do, you know, telemetry host, telemetry services, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I would personally um, click all these as well. Um... But yeah, block all these two, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, you hit close, and um, you're good to go. Now, what I would do is every, maybe every once a week, once every two weeks, I would open this program up and go to About, the bottom down here at About, and hit Check for Updates. I would check it for update every couple weeks, and also every week or two weeks before you do that, just make sure everything is still immunized and everything's good to go still. Um, just in case you download update, um, I know that some updates actually did re-enable some of these settings, so I want to go through here like every once or two weeks. But yeah, that's real. That's it's real simple, guys. That's it. That's all there is to it. You just click the immunize button on the first protection tab here, go into optional, apply all of these, um, and then go back to protection tab, go to um, options, show options, and uh, check all these, and that's it. And then just you know, of course, every once a week or two, every week or two just check it make sure it's updated and everything's still good and that's it um that's going to uh, stop most of the telemetry spine and other things in windows 10 it like i said i don't think there's a way to completely stop it all um as far as i know anyway um but this is something you can do and it will greatly reduce the amount of uh, data that they're collecting from you so that's better than nothing um some people are saying this will stop it completely 100 percent blah 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 I don't think that there's any evidence in that. I think that people are just assuming that it will. Um, unfortunately, um, since this is an OS we're talking about, there's multiple ways of them doing it. Um, and uh, even some ways that it may take us a while to find out or get around. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to be a believer in the fact that this stops all the spying. I just won't. Because, like I said, there's no proof. No one has, no one has shown proof. Um, after using this program that I've seen anyway and then uploaded proof that look their connection hasn't sent out any data to any Microsoft servers for you know how long blah 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 so anyway but this does help it definitely stops it puts it down to a minimum um, and it's better than nothing so I do suggest this for everybody I hope this video has helped you guys if you found it helpful or informational please give me a like and a subscribe it really helps out as always thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one